Hello my friend and welcome to another Blender video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to natively add mist slash fog within your scene. Now I've made another tutorial about how to composite mist and fog into your scene but in this video I'm going to show you how to natively add it within your viewport. So let's get started shall we? Okay so the first things first what you're going to need to do is navigate to your shading tab. For me I'm going to do it within my viewport so I'm going to right click onto the bottom of the timeline I'm going to click vertical split, I'm going to move it to about here and I'm going to change this tab here to the shader editor. The next thing you're going to need to do is add a cube. Now it doesn't necessarily need to be a cube, it can be any of these primitive objects. Essentially what we're going to do is we're going to make one of these objects the bounding box which is going to surround whatever's inside of it with fog or haze. So for me what's going to be easiest is to use a cube or a plane, so I'm going to use a cube and I'm just going to scale this up to surround the area of which I want some fog. So I'm going to do it just above most of these buildings. I'm going to press S to scale, X to scale on X axis, S to scale, scale on the Y axis, S to scale, scale on the Z axis. And I just want to surround most of these buildings with the box. It's going to be quite big. Okay, perfect, this is quite a huge box. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to need to do is go into your shader editor and create a new material. We're then going to disconnect our principled BSDF. Then we're gonna type in Shift A and add a volume scatter node. Once you have your volume scatter, plug the volume into the volume of the material output and straight away you'll see three, two, one, bang. We've added some heavy, dense fog and smoke into the scene. Now, if it's too much, you can use the density to dial it down a bit. I'm gonna dial it down to about 0 0.05. And you can see straight away that we have some pretty dense fog and it's looking really, really good. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna have another box just underneath these buildings. So we have a layer of fog right underneath. So. I could do shift A and get another cube, or I could duplicate this cube with shift D. Then we're gonna grab it with G, move it down on the Z axis, just do it so it's at the bottom of the buildings. Then I'm gonna scale it down actually, because we don't need it to be too big and too thick. If you do duplicate one of the layers, make sure you press this icon here to create a new material from that box otherwise it will affect both volumes and you don't want that so i'm going to change the density to something heavier 0.4 as you can see we've got a heavier line of fog at the bottom here and it's looking really good this is the exact effect i want sensational now this works not only for cycles but it works within eevee as well and i'll show you if we go to the render properties here and we change the render option and we change the render engine to EV, you'll see it's going to update and it's still gonna look as good. Okay, and just like that, you can see that we have the same scene within EV with a volume and fog. It looks just as good. However, if you want the volumetrics to look slightly better, what you can do is navigate to the volumetrics tab right here within the render properties. And if your computer can handle it, reduce the tile size to the lowest number possible and this is going to increase the overall look of the volumetrics and your fog. Also if you want to you can add volumetric shadows but I'm going to leave it off for this. And just like that you've got incredible haze and fog in your scene and it updates in real time. If you move the boxes it will change the scene and I'm liking how this looks. Again you can just change the density if it's too heavy or not heavy enough. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video and tutorial. If you like the video, please share, subscribe, comment, like. If you found it useful, let me know in the comments below. If you end up making a render with hazel fog in it, then tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see. Peace.